Hello, thank you all for coming. My name is J.P. Thurlow. I'm the Chief of Police with the Fairway, Kansas Police Department. The men and women behind me are my department. I wanted to take this time to come out and make a statement and tell everyone about one of our brothers, Jonah. I want to tell you who he was. Jonah was an amazing officer. He always wanted to be the first one in. He was bright, funny, and most of all, brave. When he first started here, he'd be in the squad room with us and tones would come out, emergency tones, and were dispatched by um, an agency that does multiple cities. And he'd run out the door, not even knowing what the call was for. And it wasn't even in our city. And then he'd come walking back in and we'd be like, hey, you're going too fast, slow it down a little. And then he did that and he became one of the best. The way that the, the Fairway Police Department operates in reference to who we are is, again, we're very small and we have the ability given to us by this community and the governing body to pick and choose who we want to work here. We haven't sent anyone to the academy in 25 years. So I have the ability to pick and choose each one of these officers for their excellence and bring them on board. And that's who Jonah was. He was one of us. I also want to get into the layers of support that we've been experiencing with this horrific loss to us. I, I keep going back to how small we are. There has been so much support, layer upon layer upon layer of support for us. But despite all that, we're still broken. But we'll work through this, we'll mend. I thought of this the other day because again, of our size and how special and unique we are. I think, I know, we're one of the smallest agencies in the Kansas City Metro. But now, because of all that support, I feel like I've got the biggest department in the country. Sorry. We've been surrounded by all of our brothers and sisters in Johnson County and in the Metro uh, helping us through this. Um, peer support has been phenomenal. Um, the mental health aspect involving us and the family grieving has been amazing. They're with us all the time. If we need to talk to anybody, it's instantaneous. I also want to say how appreciative we are of our community. How, we feel how much they love us. We feel how much they miss us. We had the conversation yesterday because we meet together every day of what it's going to be like to get back and where we, we hear the community. We know the community wants to see us. So the officers are easy, easing back into that. Um, they're getting in our cars and going back out and, and, and beginning to embrace the community again because we hear the streets calling us. And we know that that's what our job is, is to be back out there and protect, just like Jonah did. We will never be able to replace Jonah but because of who we are and knowing what he stood for and the type of officer he was and the type of officers that we bring to our community, he's, ne he's never gonna be forgotten because he's gonna live on through all of us because we're 
we're a family. And we'll always be a family. Thank you. I'm happy to answer a couple questions if you have any. Are there arrangements yet? Yes, they've been made and those are gonna be um, released very shortly. Um, I, I'll tell you what's occurring, but I can't give you definitive times. There'll be a visitation, or excuse me, there'll be a parade of blue and a um, vigil on Friday. Sunday there will be a visitation and Monday will be the funeral. All that, the additional information on that will be released very shortly. Is Jonah from uh, Fairway area around here? Or? Um, he, he lives in the Kansas City metropolitan area. You know, the other thing I want to talk about too is his family. Clearly, I mean, we're his, his work family, um, but his, his wife is so strong and his, his mother, his father, his, his entire family are, are being so strong and we're, we'll always be there for them as well. And we are very grateful for, again, the support for them through giving to that uh, organization that we've set up. Chief Thurlow, who was Jonah's uh, field training officer? All of us. Every one of us. Does anybody have a memory that just stands out above the rest for you whenever you were training him? Like to tell us. I, I actually have a story about that. So because we're so small, I, sometimes I actually go out and put handcuffs on people because of our size, even in the Kansas City area. And uh, Joni used to work off duty and there was a bank very close to here um, on the other, other side of Shawnee Mission Parkway. And um, I was taking a, a guy into custody. Um, things were going well, but I they we're calling for another car for me. And Joan was off duty at the bank, and this speaks to who he was. He took it upon himself to leave the bank and sprint across Shawnee Mission Parkway during rush hour. And uh, he made it over here, he didn't get hit by a car, and then he got to me and everything was great, cool. The guy I had went to jail. Um, and then the bank called me and they're like, hey JP. I'm like, yeah. They're like, whoa. What happened? Where's Jonah? What? It scared us to death. He ran out of here as fast as he could. And it was described as he looked like a Frogger video game running across Shawnee Mission Parkway to try and get to me. That's how much he wanted to be out front of everything. That's, that's a story. If anybody else has another one, but that pretty much describes it. If you saw that that day, he was, Jonah was the guy that was dodging your car running across Shawnee Mission Parkway. That's courage. That's courage and bravery.